Bad decisions after a night of boozing, it can happen to the best of us. But now a new app is trying to make sure we don't do something we may regret, drunk text. Fox's Max King explains. And I've had really bad experiences with that. No, oh, I just hope my phone dies normally when I'm drinking. Have a drink now. Shoot me a text later, they said. It was drunk texting one of my female friends who I thought was like, hey, she's pretty attractive. And I texted her all the things I wanted to do to her. No big deal, they said. I guess I realized that I danced on a bar the morning afterwards. It's not that bad. Then you wake up the next morning with a message history that leaves your cheeks, eyes, and conscience burning. That's usually my go-to when I wake up after a night of solid drinking, like, oh, what, what did I do? Down a couple friends, a significant other, and a job. Kind of sending a full of curse words to their manager after a long day. To combat those kind of bad ideas, transferred from pint glass in one fist to smartphone in the other, 26-year-old Ronnie Rocha programmed an app. The idea originated um, when I was in college, probably for obvious reasons. Drunk Text Savior screens your text messages for curse words, unfortunate autocorrections, and slurred typing. J Dollar miss you. H-H-E-I-O want to come over? Giving its users a chance to avoid sending something they might regret. They love it when they can remember to use it. So you stumble out of some holiday gathering and reach for your smartphone to send a message you shouldn't. Drunk Text Savior only intervenes if you type the message in the app. If instead you choose your regular texting function, it's just you and your bad ideas. Hopefully one day we can intercept the text message so you can reply right back to them. A similar app called Drunk Dial No allows users to lock certain contacts for a set period of time, say before a night of drinking. Oh. Another, named only Drunk Text, discourages texting after or during boozing by shaming offenders with screenshots of their sloppy communications. I talked to people that I broke up with like years ago and I told them I loved them and I was still in a relationship with someone else. Unfortunately, when drunk, we do as we want, not as we should. And any kind of safety net, digital or otherwise, seems overmatched against loosened inhibitions and itchy thumbs. Really, really bad.